Some of you might have seen the epic second part of the movie Dune. Dune is a movie about a planet where they harvest the spice, a substance resembling cinnamon. That is of vital importance of the economy of the empire. The spice needs to be harvested from the planet Arrakis, also known as Dune. And this set me thinking. Since the spice on Dune is mixed with sand, how would you harvest it? In this video I'm going to show you a way of how you can extract a substance from two solids, in this case sand and sugar. For this experiment I will be using distilled water, a graduated cylinder, a funnel, 10 grams of sand, 10 grams of sugar, a stirring rod and coffee filter. I will also use my hot plate. Question. Suppose the spice melange is not soluble in water, like the sugar from this experiment, would you still be able to use this technique? Stick around and I will let you know at the end of the video. First thing we are going to do is mix the sugar and the sand. This will resemble the spice in the sand of Arrakis. In this experiment we will use the properties of solubility. In this case we know that sugar is soluble in water and sand is not. I am assuming here that the spice would also be soluble in water. After the water is then dissolved and filtered, we will recrystallize the sugar again. In earlier tries I dissolved the sugar inside the beaker. This worked, but the problem was that when I poured it out into the funnel, part of the sand stayed in the beaker and it was hard to get out into the funnel. For this experiment, I tried to mix the sand and the sugar first and put it into the funnel and then tried to dissolve the sugar. This did however not work as planned and as we will see later, result in much of the sugar remaining in the funnel. As you can see, I am now adding the water and also rinsing to make sure the sugar will dissolve. The water that is coming through the filter is cloudy. This is the sugar water solution. After the filter stopped dripping, I took the filter with the leftover sand to vaporize the water. I am doing this so I can later measure how much sugar is recrystallized and to make sure none of the sugar magically disappeared. In order to vaporize the water quickly, I use my hot plate to bring the temperature of the mixture to 140 degrees Celsius. As you can see, the mixture is boiling slightly at 140 degrees Celsius, which is much higher than the 100 degrees that water would boil at. The reason is that the water in sugar, the water uh, in the sugar solution, vaporizes much slower than if it were just water. After the water is vaporized, you can see that unfortunately there is a lot of sugar left. Now we will focus on the sugar water. In order to recrystallize the sugar, we would also need to vaporize the water from the sugar water, so the sugar will get dry and become solid crystals again. In order to speed up this process a little, I used, to, I used a bigger beaker so I have more surface to spread the solution on. The solution is about 25 to 30 milliliters of sugar water. As mentioned before, the water has a much higher boiling point than normal water. You also need to be careful not to heat up too much or you would then caramelize the sugar and not get the much wanted spice, I mean sugar crystals. The other thing to realize is that when the water is almost vaporized, you need to lower the temperature slowly. This way the leftover water can vaporize gradually, rather than at once. In my first try, I lowered the temperature too fast and got left with one big crystal stuck at the bottom of a beaker instead of the sugar. When the solution is boiling, you will see that the sugar will get more concentrated. As that happens, it will also become thicker and more syrup-like. When almost all the water has been vaporized from the solution, you will need to keep stirring the syrup. You do this to prevent the crystallization to happen on the sides of the beaker. When the crystallization is almost complete, you will see that the liquid sugar no longer sticks to the bottom of the beaker. You then need to keep stirring it around so a nice lump will form. At the side of the beaker you will see first white crystals forming. The lump will slowly crystallize as the sugar 
crystals we want. Unfortunately, I was not able to get most of the sugar out, but only about 35%. So this is a way that could be used to filtrate the spice from the sand. I do not, however, think that they would use this at Arrakis, as water is such a scarce resource. And that brings us to the question from the beginning. Would it still be possible to use a filtration technique if the spice would not be soluble in water? The answer of that, to that question would be likely yes. You would just need to find a liquid that could dissolve the spice and not the sand. And you could use the same technique. I hope you like this video and if you think they may use another technique at Arrakis to harvest the spice, leave your comments in the description under the video.